We must come together as one. We must come together as a faithful body of Christ. We must come together with one mission, one goal, one objective, and that is to bring glory and honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we must be all become what? One thing. One body of Christ. One people of God. One sanctified group of people. One group of believers that are baptized, repentant as believers in Jesus Christ, doing the whole will of God. One thing, united in peace, united in love, united as we were tonight in prayer, united in our vision, united in the things that we do that glorify our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And as we hasten to a close, Turn over to Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. Notice what Paul says in verse number 1. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, I beseech you, I beg you, that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called. With all what lowliness, with all what meekness, with all long suffering, forbearing one another in what love. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace. Then he reminds us in verse 4, there is what? One body. There is what? One Spirit. Even as you call, one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God. And Father of all, who is above all, through all, and in you all. So just as Paul reminded us in the feast, let us remember tonight that there's only one body of Christ, and we're all members of it in particular. That there's only one faith, there's only one baptism, there's only one God, Father of all, who's above all, who's through all, and he's in you all. So finally, it says in verse number seven, but unto every one of us, talking about the church, is given what? Grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. So all of us have been given the same amount of grace. All of us have been given the same amount of love. All of us will get the same amount of joy and all of us will create the same amount of adoration of God when we get to heaven. We'll all be together. We'll all inherit that kingdom if we remain faithful, if we become one thing, if we become whole, if we become unified, if we strive together here at Parkway Village to do the Lord's will. So remember, a house divided cannot stand. A house divided cannot stand. For those of you who are not in Christ, there's a plan of salvation. You must first hear the word of God. You must believe that word. You must repent of your past and present sin. You must confess that Jesus Christ is your Lord and your Savior. And after you've done all of that, we ask that you submit to water baptism. And after you've done that, we ask that you come into the kingdom, come into the Lord's church, and work out your soul's salvation and fear and trembling. And do as they did in Revelation 2.10. Be faithful, be faithful, be faithful, be faithful, be faithful unto death. This is our prayer tonight. This is our plea tonight. And if we have a song of invitation, we will do that at this time.